you doing people? Welcome to beautiful Maui. I am in Hawaii. I've been here for the last three weeks and one thing I love to do when I'm in Maui is use local ingredients. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, like cooking in Hawaii. For the simple fact that there are no pesticides here. So no need to say everything is organic because it is. Everything's organic. Everything's fresh. Even the beef is grass fed. So there's no antibiotic steroids and there's no pesticides. So that means that I love to cook and I love to eat here. So I usually gain weight. I packed on a few since the last time I saw you. Uh, I'm going to prepare for you today. Uh, I have some fish, some ono, and I have some chicken. And I'm going to wrap those in tea leaves. We're going to season them up real nice out there on the grill, right out there in, in the ocean. And uh, you all are going to be witness to it. But first thing I got to do is I got this fresh pineapple that was given to us by the condo uh, who I rented, I rented this condo from. So I've already prepared the pineapple. But what I really want you to see is that we're going to give this uh, pineapple a, a nice layer of salt. This is sea salt. And we're going to cover this pineapple in it. And if you don't live in Hawaii or somewhere tropical, you really don't know what happens when you salt a pineapple. It just brings out the sweetness. So, we're going to give this pineapple a nice salt rub. And this is a, a Maui Gold pineapple. So it's already naturally sweeter than any pineapple you'll see on the mainland. Okay, got that salt nice and rubbed in. I'm gonna rinse that off. Get that salt off of that, but it's already bringing out the sweetness of this pineapple. We're gonna prepare the pineapple for grilling. I'm gonna grill this pineapple with the chicken and the ono. I'm gonna take this core out. I know you all admire this great tan I've got. Darkened up so much since I've been here. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get this this pineapple is, is uh it's gonna be grilled. You'll you'll be witness to that once we get out there on the grills. Aloha until later. Okay, we're back. We're at the grill. We have our chicken breast. What we're going to do is we have some chili and garlic. Okay, welcome back. All right, we're in Maui, like I told you. We got our food prep. I uh, got the grill nice and hot. What I did is I put some, I put this, this special mixture. It's uh, garlic and sweet chili, Maui style, and guava. Don't forget guava. Onto some chicken breast. We got them going nice and good. What we're doing is we're going to get some nice lines on there. We're not actually trying to finish the chicken. What we want to do is we want to get some nice lines on there. Okay, and then we're going to wrap those. I know earlier I said tea leaves, these are taro leaves, these are taro leaves. We're going to wrap that fish after we grill a little pineapple, which we'll do right now. We're going to grill that pineapple, put it in there with the chicken and the fish. And I told you I had some fresh ono. Very hard to get. I even had one of these howlies out here asking me what ono, where did I get it from? I had to tell them. I can lie to them because I can't have them going to get my fish supply. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and flip these. And like I said, you're gonna see you see the salt, the guava salt on there. We're not gonna try to uh, get these cooked through. We're just trying to get the lines on there because it's gonna go into the uh, taro leaves. Okay, so while that's doing, we're gonna go ahead and get our pineapple ready to go. Okay, 
Okay, we're going to put off a little prep area. So we can get, get all this put into our beautiful carol leaves here. My cameraman producer can scan the uh, what's behind me right now and show you all where I'm cooking. Wish you were here, don't you? Ha ha, you're not. I am. I'm having so much fun doing the cooking here. The pineapple is falling apart. That's okay. We got a little bit more heat going on over here. Once we get the chicken and the pineapple into the taro leaves, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap that. We're going to seal it. And it's basically going to steam itself inside the tea leaf. That tea leaf is going to cook, but we're, we're not going to do that here. We're going to put it on the grill, but we're going to finish it in the oven. Okay? So we'll take a pause, and we'll come back when we're ready to stuff the tea leaves. Okay, through the magic of the TV, we're back. Okay, what we're going to do now is my producer informed me during the break that I keep saying tea leaves. They're not tea leaves. They're taro leaves. And if you didn't know, this leaf right here, this is, comes from the plant that has taro. And to all the Hawaiians, that's what they use to make poi. Okay, and that is a staple of the Hawaiian diet. Okay, so as you can see, I already have one done on the grill. Um, and through this right now, we're going to have this nice, beautiful breast. What we're going to do is we're going to put it right here on the, on the taro leaf. And then we're going to put two nice pieces of pineapple right there. What this is going to do is it's going to steam inside the taro leaf and it's going to essentially finish cooking itself. So we're going to roll this up like we're rolling a burrito. We're going to bring it in, just keep rolling. Then when we get halfway through, we're going to fold. Then we're going to roll. And we're going to get that all nice and tucked in. And when we get that tucked in, we're going to put that right here on the grill. As soon as I move my pineapple on it's going to sit right there. Right there on the grill. We're going to let these cook here. Um, we're going to finish these in the oven because I do not want to scorch or burn the leaves. I will demonstrate one more. We're gonna do this with the, we're gonna also do this with the fish too. So I want you to stand by, you know, to everyone on my YouTube page and my Facebook page. That's Facebook Chef Tao Sims. Okay, my YouTube page. I'll give you the link to that. Another thing I really want to point out to you is when we washed the pineapple earlier. And we brought out the sweetness of the pineapple. That's why you see that these pineapples, the caramelization, you know, the sugar is coming out of them. And that's, uh, these pineapples are going to be very, very sweet. Okay, we're going to put those on. And while those are going, we're going to go ahead and pause again. Do the magic of TV. And I'm going to go ahead and get the Ono. The fish that Hawaiians love in the Lao Lao. And we're gonna get that ready to go. Okay? See you in a second. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey, look at this. Let me show you something. This is Uno. Hawaiian fish. Very, very delicious. Very hard to find, but very delicious. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get these going. I want you to take a look over here at something. 
if you take a look, we got the taro leaves going. Okay, now inside that, you saw that we put the chicken and the pineapple. Okay, now what's happening right there is that it's steaming now inside. I'm using the grill to help it along a little bit. But I kind of like to finish it off in the oven for the simple fact that in the oven, uh, that steam, it, it really gets in there because it's being heated from all different sides. I like to put it on the broiler to keep to get it going, but when we finish this up, I'm going to show it, it's going to go in the oven, okay? Now, with our fish, our Arno, these are some beautiful fillets, and we want to really want to take care of these. So I put a little olive oil down on the broiler to get that going. And uh, once, this is, once this is done, I made up a little Asian chili paste. Let me get that in the light. Get my camera woman producer to see this. Okay, we got some, uh, this is Asian chili paste. I added a little cracked black pepper, some sea salt, and some uh, granulated garlic. Before we wrap these beautiful fillets in the taro leaves, what we're going to do is we're going to give this a nice coating on that. And it's also going to have some pineapple that's been seasoned with this, the chili uh, guava salt. Okay, now uh, our fish is, uh, we're going to try to go ahead and flip this now. You can see we, and we got the desired uh, lines on there that we're looking for. You know, let me share something with you. The one thing that's really hard about shopping in Hawaii is the same thing about shopping at home. Once I come across something good, I over shop. But I had to stop myself today, not because the prices are expensive, and they're very expensive, but I wanted you all, I'm just feeding two people here. So, I think my wife and I eat pretty good until the weekend um, with what we're preparing here. Okay, while that's getting ready on the other side, we're going to go ahead and give it a coat. I want to make sure that I lay this on thick. This is this is going to be spicy, but it will be very very good. It's nothing like cooking on the beach. I tell you, those waves you hear crashing back there—they sound twice as good now to me because I'm here. Ooh, my hands are burning. Okay. While that's doing, we're going to go ahead and show you our last and final. If you see, I got this taro leaf laid out. I have a strip. Excuse me. Okay, it's laid out. We're going to go ahead and put our fish and our pineapple right in there. We're going to go ahead and start with we'll put some pineapple right there. Same method as the chicken. The chicken is going to take a lot longer to cook than the fish, so naturally we start it with the chicken first. Okay, but with this fish, it's now ready, it's going on. We're going to go ahead and lift this beautiful filet, and we're going to go ahead and put it right there. And we are going to start wrapping. Just like the cameraman producer to move into the light just like the chicken before it, we're going to go ahead and place this right on the grill I'm going to give it a spray of olive oil and while I got the camera rolling I want to show you that I'm going to take the chicken off like I told you it's going to be finished in the oven but I will show you the completed product once it's done.
Okay, we're going to go ahead and pause and we're going to get our stir fry ready. And then after that, we'll be ready to eat. Okay, we're back. Okay, for our last segment, for our last cooking segment. What we're going to do here is we have uh, our vegetable stir fry. And like I told you, we were fishing around in a Chinese market today. And I found these beautiful vegetables. So what we have in here is we have some Nawi onion. We have some zucchini, some squash, and some mushrooms. And to top things off, we had, I found this beautiful baby bok choy, which I added in here. And we're going to stir fry this with a little bit of that salt. We have that guava salt. Okay. Now, I'm not going to overload my skillet here because I got it on high. And uh, once this all comes down, it's going to be a lot less in the, in the pan itself. So we're going to gonna get it all coated. smelling the aroma of this bono inside this, uh, this beautiful taro leaf. The smell is intoxicating. And since I did not want to make this video to take up my whole SIM card, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pause. We're going to finish cooking, and the next time I see you, we'll be back inside the condo, and I'll have these beautiful chicken and ono coming out of the oven after they finish steaming the way I like them, and then we're going to show you the finished plate. Okay, we're back. And through the magic of television, we have moved from the beachfront grills up to our kitchen in the condo, and I am finishing up the vegetables that you saw me preparing down there. As you can see, the beauty of this, this Maui onion is the sweetness of the Maui onion really adds to the flavors that we added in here. You know, the bok choy, the, the zucchini, and squash, and the mushrooms. So, we're going to give this a, a few more flips, you know, and uh, this will be ready to go. So, we'll go ahead and switch that off. I want you all to see what has become of our Ono and our chicken. Each one has mushrooms. The Orno has the chili paste that we prepared. And uh, both have the pineapple in them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take that out of the oven and set that there. And um, my producer, who also happens to be my cameraman, will uh, we'll be happy to know that she's in for a really big treat tonight. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go put one on our plate. This is actually, believe it or not, going to be the Ono. So we're going to go ahead and clean that plate up because, you know, presentation is everything. And anybody that has had one of my classes, one of my cooking classes that I gave, will know that my motto has always been, fresh is always better. Always. Never. It's always better. Okay. We have our fresh vegetables. Our stir fry. We're going to go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and put some of those on each side. We want some uh, some good color in here. Once again, we're going to go ahead and clean the plate up. We're going to go ahead and present it. And there you go. We have our fresh Ono with chili paste. And we have our fresh stir fry. And for the, you know, for those that are viewing, we're going to go ahead and open that up so you can actually see what we have. We're going to go ahead and take that apart. Don't worry, you might burn your fingers just a little bit, but it won't last for long, so stop crying. 
okay as you can see that beautiful that beautiful Arno is in there that succulent pineapple it is steamed itself it is done it is fresh it is flaky and it is 100% absolutely delicious bon appetit mmm oh Mm, that is simply wonderful. Until next time, I'm Chef Tao Sims. Mahalo.